I think the, the brightest minds today tell you the new frontiers in knowledge generation are biomedical. And so by us creating this environment where our educational institutions coupled with our hospitals and our researchers, we're making sure that El Paso stays relevant for the future. This particular campus provides healthcare professionals in an area in which it's clear there's a shortage. It's an area that's also underserved. The education, the healthcare, and the economic success of the MCA campus has been incredibly important to our community. It's really important for the whole connectivity within the whole campus with MCA um, and all the other entities that work here closely, because as we continue to grow, our purpose is to be able to take care of individuals from birth all the way through their elderly years. And so connectivity allows us that opportunity for individuals to navigate through the campus seamlessly, to allow individuals who work here or perhaps who are learning their skills as students here, to really afford them the opportunity to connect throughout all of the different entities so that they can continue to grow and learn their passion for healthcare. The MCA has an all-encompassing vision of what healthcare means, and that includes public health. So this has really helped UT Houston in El Paso grow. And one of our goals at UT Houston is not to just address the, the health status of a person at a given point in time, but to look at you know, where we live, where we work, our lifestyle, our choices, and our environment. And the mission of MCA aligns with that goal. I've been working with the MCA Foundation since I was over at William Beaumont. Been working with, with y'all for, gosh, coming up on 10 years now. And I remember when this was in its infancy, we were already looking at expanding. When I arrived as the director, we were already looking at expanding our footprint. We needed to grow. And so now we've got this 25,000 square foot outpatient behavioral health clinic that we've been able to consolidate the majority of our mental health services to one location. And to have it as in close proximity to Texas Tech as we are because of the residency programs that we support, it couldn't be a better location. This has really become the hub for healthcare. And so MCA continues to play an important role for that with the Cardwell Collaborative and all the research that's happening here. The partnership is what is key so that that way all of the entities continue to serve the citizens within this region. Having a, an area where the students could interact with each other, along with researchers, we wanted to create an environment that would foster innovation even as we began to have success as the community came together and we, we first not only got our medical school, but then we began to dream bigger that we could have an entire university. Private donations were critical. So many of us that started out early knew that the seed money that we were able to raise privately could then be leveraged and, and play what I would call a best practice in incenting both the city and the county and the state. You know, the future is very, very bright. That there, there are some very dedicated people that serve on the various boards that make up the Medical Center of the Americas Foundation. It really helps to unify everybody. And so developing the, the campus and a biomedical research industry increases access to healthcare. So it provides more opportunities for both research and collaboration and increasing new technologies to the market as well as access to those technologies. When people start seeing the things that are coming out of El Paso, they're gonna to wanna to be a part of it. It's because of the reputation of El Paso, of which the MCA Foundation is a huge piece of it. They bring everybody together. They bring the, the CEOs for the tenant hospitals, the, the HCA hospitals, UMC, Army, VA, they bring everybody together because those of us who've decided to make this our home want all those things to be better. And it's because of what the MCA is doing and is planning to do into the future.